Shabbat Shalom. Want to give all praises and the glory to the Hashem, Double honors to the apostles and the elders and bishops of Great Millstone who've taught us this truth. Peace and blessings with all sincerity. All the Akims, would you say the brothers who do this work throughout the four corners of the earth? We are the brothers of Great Millstone here in Toronto, Canada. Again, Shabbat Shalom. So we're just going to do a quick lesson. And as the Spirit moves us, we're just going to um, touch on some precepts, speak on them. And, you know, for now, it's saying various topics. The brother might change it. But um, we're just going to talk about um, uh, basically brotherly love. Yahweh Shai being the first and foremost the eldest brother, right? Which is also a father, which is a, is a creator. He's basically our everything. The savior, that's what his name means, Yahweh Shai, he saves. The redeemer, all right? But we extol this spirit, the second spirit in command. The first spirit being Yahweh, right? And we, we, do, we don't approach Yahweh because that would be impertinent without Yahweh Shai. All right? So we, 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 we glorify Yahweh Shai and we give thanks to Yahweh Shai because what? He sent the Holy Spirit to wake up our minds to realize that there is a Heavenly Father and we can't um, um, approach him, right? Rightfully so, without Yahweh Shai. All right? So Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the name of the Son. And as Israelite men, that's our only way of salvation and the only way we have a chance <laughs> of uh, um, citing or, or missing this coming destruction. Mm -hmm. okay. so, um, Brother Ashar, you said you had something to start off with? Yeah, let me start with uh, the book of Hebrews, uh, chapter 13 and verse one. And it reads, let the brotherly love continue. Be no that's, for- that's, that's a command, so like a brother, that's, that's a yeah. command. Don't just see it as just a, um, a four-letter phrase. It's let brotherly love continue. So that's the, the, the Heavenly Father, right, passing down, um, showing his jurisdiction, right, over the over, over the, the one-third, the elect, right? We hopefully we're those men. So there's a command to let brotherly love continue, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe at times it might seem like it doesn't exist anymore. Right, so it's something that needs, needs to be worked on, right? Like any relationship, it has to be uh, uh, um, nourished, right? And we get nourished via these scriptures, okay? So that's how we're going to know how to deal with brothers, all right? We can't deal with them based on what, what we thought it was before we're in the world. We're to come in and be indoctrinated, right? And 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 and, and be baptized in how the the, the brethrens have to be treated right and Yahweh Shai is a good role model verse 2 when it reads be not forgetful to entertain strangers that's right and them strangers doesn't mean you know some dirty ass Moabite right that's that's you know living a building right or, 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 or some, some, some some pride candidate talking about you know do you support us no stranger is going to um a hebrew man right that that might be a brother mm -hmm. that might be sent by your shy and it could be an angel okay so you're going to try the spirit to see if that spirit uh, uh um, res uh, um resides with your or, 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 or is in concert with your spirit because by the spirit you shall know them Mm -hmm. spirit, there's witness with our spirit that we're sons or even daughters of the, of the heavenly fathers right and we're not saying a woman can be a prophet we're not looking for women to be prophets beside us and you know be in the houses and byways but there's women looking like other nations we're actually of this of this this um elect group right sisters are sitting back you know watching this being quiet and being being um lawful 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Covered, no, no cleave is showing, not twerking. You know, we want to have a man rule over her in righteousness, um, basically living a life the best of his ability from the Bible. Mm-hmm. All right, reading it reads, Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Yeah. So you might see an Israelite working at Popeyes, mm-hmm. and you and you 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 you, know, you make fun of them. You know, you know, cheap, you know, nigga, right? Not knowing that that's a man of the Lord. Go right? So that's why you know you you can't judge by appearance, right? We are spiritual men, so we're supposed to move in the spirit. Of course, sometimes we're gonna be carnal. Of course. Huh. We're in his bodies, man. Yeah. Right? But once you realize, and a, and a brother check you, say, hey, brother, man, like, keep it spiritual. You should repent of being a what? A Negro, as Esau coined us. We got to quit being Negroes and being representative of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Move like we have the Rakal Kadash, that Holy Spirit. Be separate. The Bible said, be ye separate. Right? Speaking of speaking to us, all right. Keep reading. Uh, verse three. Remember them that are in bonds, as bound with them, and them which suffer adversity, as being yourself also in the body. That's right. So we we got to remember that brothers go through hard times, mm-hmm. you know, like you do. There's times when you know, you know, like I said, you act carnal, right? So you have to be ready to uh, um, let go of like um, carnal uh, um, mentality, right. carnal desires, and carnal mm-hmm. way of treating brothers and brethren. Mm-hmm. All right? Because and remember that even the brother might, you know, rub you the wrong way or vice versa. That, you know, there's times when you go into that mindset. But you quickly remind that listen, man, this is Yahweh Shai's house. Yahweh Shai called that man. Mm-hmm. But be mindful of how you treat each other. Yeah. Right? We start off saying, let brotherly love continue. And your brother, based on uh, um, what posterity you come from, if you're from the posterity of a man called Israel, we are all brethren, man. And no, not a color thing. The Elder Malcolm always starts off by saying, uh, um, this is not a black thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, We don't teach that over here. We teach truth. And we mm-hmm. understand that our people were scattered. Our people will look like other nations. But we deal with spirit. Spiritual. I'm, I'm coming together. Go on. Even though, even though the majority of people might look what you look like what you call so-called Negroes, that's not what it's about. Go on. Okay. Um, I have a quick yeah, one. Yeah. Just a quick one to land back on what you're saying. Uh, John, John, John chapter seven, verse twenty-four, uh, red letter, and it reads, "Judge not according to the appearance, but mm-hmm. judge righteous judgment." Mm-hmm. That's right. And again, that's a command. So in church, they talk about the Ten Commandments. Listen, Negro, there's over 613 law, and that's straightforward. Read again, brother. John 7 and 24, once again. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. That's right. So we, we are admonished to not look at a man outward appearance, right? But deal with a man based on how his spirit is towards Yahweh by Shem Shai and towards the brethren, right? Um, I forget who was it asked the Lord, what was the two greatest commandments? And Yahweh Shai told him, it hangs on these. Love Yahweh with mm-hmm. all your mind and heart, paraphrasing, mm-hmm. and love thy brother. Mm-hmm. These two, right? So once you have those two things down pat, you're basically golden. Mm-hmm. Right? You're golden. See? 
Um, you said Ephesians. What one you, you queued up there? Let me get this quick. Go ahead. First uh, John four and twenty. Actually, for uh, sorry, nineteen. We love we love him because he's the first to love us. If a man say I love Yahweh and hate his brother, he's a liar. That's right, man. So you can't stop saying that you're in this truth, right? But you, you know, you have ill will, ill intention towards a brother that's in the faith, right? Holding grudges. It, 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 we, we're warned against that. The scripture says, um, um, if your brother uh, don't come, don't come to the altar. You know, with, yeah, I have it queued up. Come, go ahead, brother. Bring it up. Uh, Matthew five, twenty-three. Uh, Matthew five, verse twenty-two, and it reads, mm-hmm. "Red letter." But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And and without a cause. Um, it's going like, like you might think this is a reason why you should be angry with your brother, right? So he said, The reason why is this you should have no reason to be angry with your brother because that's your brother in the faith, mm-hmm. that's your brother's doing his lifting with you, mm-hmm. right? But again, I get it, we're in the, we're, we're in the flesh, and, and we would act as if you know that old man is still alive when we're admonished to put out the old man. Mm-hmm. Right, leave it outside, outside, you know, this arena. Yep. Okay. Read again, brother. Matthew uh, five and twenty-two. But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. That's right, because mm-hmm. you don't know who that brother is. Mm-hmm. Right. Everybody, nobody knows who they are in, in, the, in the past. Right, nobody know, you know, and 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 listen, Yahusha is warned. You could be in danger. So as soon as you know, you, you catch yourself, say Salakia, brother, Salakia, man, I should feel some kind of way. You know what I mean, if you don't feel no kind of way after that transgression, you need, you need to go pray and fast, man. That means you don't feel the Heavenly Father. God, you know. Mean, it, means, it means you don't worship the Heavenly Father. You don't honor the Heavenly Father because those are straightforward uh, um, 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 rules. Mm-hmm. You know, and we say we, we do it to the best of our ability. Done. So if it's not within your ability to feel some kind of way, you need to pray and fast, man. Because mm-hmm. there are some heavy demons on you. And nobody is above uh, that rule. Everybody. If Paul was, a, was one, of the, one of the most devout um, 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 person in the Bible, and you speak of him being plagued with demons. <laughs> like, he meant that Satan was on him. <laughs> okay? So don't don't feel that you know, you're above demons. Can't be on you. It has to be the other man. Sometimes you gotta take the L, man. Right? And when and when you when you fast and pray, pray for the brother who you feel felt have wronged you yeah right pray for yourself pray for, pray for each and every member right of the body mm-hmm. right because you, you might have to think it's between you and a brother and that the same demon jumped on another brother mm-hmm. you pray for that demon to leave the camp alone leave the body alone man mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. go ahead brother uh go back on first oh, yeah. john I'm oh. like I'm a thumb. Come on. yeah and and uh, and whosoever shall say to his brother Raka shall be in danger of the council, but whosoever shall say thou fool shall be in danger of hellfire. That's right, and we know that hellfire is going to missiles. So we speak about people eating missiles and all that stuff. Listen, man, we don't want that to be our judgment. We don't want that to be the final say of Yahab Hashem and Shai. Uh, you, you know that it says two in the fields, right? You speak of two Israelite men in the fields or women, and one gets caught up. And one gets left behind, man. I don't want it for any brother. Any brother that I'm in the field with right now doing this work, I do this work with intention to see each and every brother via the, the, on the YouTube that okay. is doing the work or I've met in person to be in them chariots. Come. You see? Mm-hmm. Right? Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar 
and there remembers that thy brother hath ought against thee. So when you're out there prophesying, right? And you say, yeah, and you salute the brother and walk by and you know hold your hold your spot. You know what I mean? But you look at the brother's side, you side eye the brother thinking, man, you know, I like that guy, man. <laughs> you know, you're setting yourself up to be judged, right? By your Abashim Yashai. And you're not gonna like it because the brother probably rubbed you the wrong way. And he, like in his mind, he thinks, oh, that, 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 that's done with because like he's about the brethren, he's about the brotherhood. And even in the, in the, in the outside in the outside world, in the, in the world, you have brothers that you know that you your carnal brother, and that's how you deal with them and say, That's my brother, man, like whatever. So so you might you might fight, but still you're good. But he's he's you know, holding in his heart, and you know, right, so the yeah. same thing applies when you're here, but you gotta let that go. You can't be that brother that you were in the world. You know, mm -hmm. it's uh, um, wedding party, and you can't have no fighting in there. You have no bouncers, you know, spiritual bouncers. <laughs> you know, break it up, bro. You know, that shouldn't be happening, man. You should be like, yo, man, um, can I talk to you a second? Such and such, such and such. Oh, see him, brother. So, yeah, all right, sorry. Select the brother. And that's the spirit we need to be in. Mm -hmm. You know? Go ahead. Leave, leave there thy gift before the altar. And go thy way first, be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. That's right, man. And it only makes sense, mm -hmm. right? You feel lighter, you feel that be you know, you know, you're being submissive, mm -hmm. right? The Bible it doesn't the Bible calls call us um the bride, the, the groom, the, the bride. Mm -hmm. so, you, so you say like a submissive woman, right? And this is the way we ought to be throughout this whole this whole walk, man. Be submissive to Yahweh Bahashim Yahashai. Do as he says. Do what the Bible says. Go on. Okay. All right, go ahead. Ashar. You're back on First John 4 and 20. Let's start again. If a man say, I love Yahweh and hate his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, who he had, who he had seen, how can he love Yahweh? Who he had no seen. That's right. Right. That's straightforward. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got a brother here in the flesh with you, right? You know, you go to Passover, high holy days, you know, mm -hmm. you juice and whatever. And then, you, you know, a little thing happens and, you know, you don't want to forgive the brother. Mm -hmm. well, how you expect you to be forgiven from the Heavenly Father and His Son if you are holding contempt? Gone. You know, it's a reason for all, all this. The, the most side is about cleaning us up, right? Getting us right in the mind, how to live brotherly, right? It's a, a part of the walk is not only that you're cussing out Esau, cussing out the nigger woman, right? hey, nigger woman, and, and big Shirley, and, you know, and Esau's a damn devil. And, and, and he's, no, a, a, a big part of it too, right? It's to love thy brother as you love the most high. Mm -hmm. Right? Keep go ahead. Uh, that was it on the okay. Um uh, one second. Peace units. I gotta bring that that, that precept. Um this is um I, I, I'll get it. Speed. So, it's Matthew, Matthew 22 and 40. I keep saying it. Matthew 22 and 40 reads, of, On these two commandments hang all the... Let me read it. Let's get it. Matthew 22 and 40. It's in, the, it's in the red letter. Matthew 22, verse um, 37. Let's read down. Yahweh said unto him, Thou shalt love Yahweh, thy power, with all thy heart, yeah. and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Verse 38. This is the first and great Commandment. So the most important one, that's to love Yahweh with all your mind and soul. 
verse 39, and the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor, mm -hmm. the Hebrew man, in the truth, with you, as thyself. On these two commandments, and all the law of the prophets and the prophets like it. All right. So, like I said earlier, if you, if we, if the Lord has given you this spirit to just, just do those two things, you basically guarantee the spot in the chariots. That's what the Lord's saying. So, we're going to focus, right? And focus has to do with like, uh, um, 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 being, being fine-tuned, single-eyed, like a laser, right? You have, to have, the, have, have the passion to want to do this, heat. Have the fervent spirit to want to please Yahabah Hashem Yashai. And if you please Yahabah Hashem Yashai, you should, it's so doing also to your brothers. All right? Like I was saying, you know, which I try in this, in this truth to make it my, you know, my walk is to be the most um, uh, respectable, right? No one must be more respectable than me. Of course, you know, there's times where I, where, where I flop, right? Because I am perfect, but that, that that's my mindset. I must be the most respectable towards the least brother, not least in a sense, but, but like the, the youngest brother to the eldest brother up to the apostles. That must be what people say about me when I leave. I got Kazakh man, they're respectable, you know, and and, and that's something should be in my control. Go, on. Go ahead. I have a quick one. Go on. Uh, Luke seventeen and three, red letter. Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. Go on. And if you mm -hmm. repent, forgive him. That's right. So, 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 so you see, there, there, there's um, um, a method, so, right? Yep. Um, a recipe of how to, how to deal. So the most I did is just put us here and they figure it out, right? He says, uh, uh, um, read again, brother. Take heed to yourselves. If thy brother trespass against thee, rebuke him. That's right. Say, your brother, man, can't talk to you, right? And it doesn't mean you, you yell at him. Like rebuke doesn't mean like you you're shame, man. So, hey, brother, you can you can do it in a tone where like it's acceptable, you're respecting that you're talking to another man. Right? Say, brother, like what you said, I wasn't feeling it. And you know, I, I would probably want to get an apology from you. Or I hope you want to say it, but have that respect that you speak to another man and you know you don't want to stir it, stir up his ego. Where he might give you give you the answer that you're looking for, as in the, no, it's like your brother, you know, then you, you you punk, you know, like how you deal with in the world, you know. So go ahead, brother. And if he repent, forgive him. And if he trespass against thee seven times in a day, mm -hmm. and seven times in a day turn again to thee, saying, "I repent," thou shalt forgive him. That's right. So you see, remember the truth about long suffering, man. Like, you, you know, if you rather hear that the seventy times seven. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but that means it's something you got to pray about, right? And make that be you. Make that be how you deal. No one mm -hmm. says the truth gonna be easy, man. Nope. It was easy. Everybody be doing it. As I say in the word, it was easy. Everybody be doing it, man. It would be. It would be special. Little booze, you'd be up here, up in here talking about, you know, give me the mic. <laughs> you know, I got something to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A J woman twerking in the background, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is that it in that one? Yeah, that's it on that. Um, I'm sorry, yeah. grab, grab Proverbs 25, 28. Oh, what is that? Proverbs 28. Twenty-five and twenty-eight. Okay, Proverbs twenty-five and twenty-eight. It reads, "He that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls." That's right. So, 
you we, we, you know we got to pray that this doesn't apply to us right we got to pray that Yahweh Hashem Hashem give us the might to have ru rule over our spirit because if you allow it to you know to be controlled you can basically you're basically in danger if you if, if, if you're not mindful and careful you know you might find yourself going off and to a point of no return you know you know where you're being like looked at kind of funny within a brother within a brotherhood you know no one no one nobody wants to be around you mm -hmm. you know you know, you, you, you know, you know it, you're glad when you're sick you know i'm glad a brother in here man mm -hmm. <laughs> you know that's not the brother you want to be that's not you want to be spoken of, spoken of you want to hear where, where's this brother you know the brother to ride you know you give him an uber what, what's up you know not, not like brother in here for two weeks three weeks good <laughs> mm -hmm. right this brother is a, is a lion in his in his own, in his own house Come on. right let me, let me get this let me get this script preset when it down to one body this is our first corinthians 12 and 12 i'll jump over uh for as the body is one and have many members and all the members of that body of one body being many are one body so also is yahweh shai that's right so if if you're acting out of whack right it means that your body is this east right something you're right it's not in accord so it has to be dealt with right it needs a position and the position is always in scripture. You say, how do we deal with this problem? You know, we got a problem here. Yeah. And that's why we have councils. Mm -hmm. right? And the council is basically set up to um, remedy what's not moving with ease. Mm -hmm. Right? And that's what it says. If the eye offends you, you might have to cut it out. And the eyes usually have to do with like, the head. Right? But that's usually the last resort. You know, you can try everything to save. Like if someone is, you know, is losing an eye or you know some part that's that's very relevant to, 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 to move around in his in his in his life, you can try everything. Every time to, to maintain, you know, to, to restore, you know, regenerative uh, um, surgery. You can try everything. It's like, man, you gotta let it go, man. All right. Mm -hmm. So. You want to try, but the body's all going to try to maintain mm -hmm. the body that it, it, you know that it, that it, that it began with. You know, you know, you're going to try to try try to keep it healthy. Go on. Keeping it healthy requires sustenance, nutrients, and in a spiritual sense, requires to be uh, um, the ointment. That the Bible is an ointment, mm -hmm. right? To to, to to mend things, to make things work. Properly, always go to the scriptures. Uh, let me jump up to 12, verse 25 in NLT. This makes for harmony among the members so that all members care for each other. If one part suffers, all the parts suffer with it. That's and right, man. <laughs> it looks some kind of way, right? I just this, this thing in the carnal sense, you're limping. Right? I say, hey, what's wrong with your foot? <laughs> you know, why, man? You're limping, right? So if 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 the, if the body is out of tune, right, it's gonna be noticeable. You gotta yeah. feel it, right? And in each part of the body, when you realize, hey, you know, you ever have a backache, and you, you just feel, you know, your your, your whole body is in is out of tune, all because your back's hurting. Yeah. You, know? you, you don't want to you don't want to sit up. <laughs> you know. You don't want to, you can't even dance. You don't want to walk too far. It's affecting the whole body. That's right. You know, I mean, you might get a headache. All because of a back pain, man. You hurt your back. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, first one, see, if one part suffers, all the parts suffers with it. And if one part is honor, all the parts are glad. Come on. It says, first one, seven, all of you together are Yahweh Chai body. And each other of you is a part of it. That's right, man. 
So this is, you know, Yahweh Shai being the head. And Yahweh Shai is, is, is perfect, right? He's immortal. So he, he don't feel no pain, right? He, 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 he has no has a stigma, right? No nothing that's, you know, there's no blemish. Mm -hmm. And blemishes is going to show if we're not adhering to these laws, these scriptures, this way how to move. Move in brotherly love. All right. You have your only thing, Shema? You, you, you're, you're, your mic's your mic's muted. Again. Yeah. That's so like, yeah. Uh, First Corinthians 12, uh, verse 24. For our comely parts have no need, but Yahweh Bashim El Shai has tempered the body together. Having given more abundant honor to that part which lack, mm -hmm. that there should be no schism in the body, but that the members should have the same care one for another. That's right, man. So no respect of a person. That's that's the spirit Yahweh Shai, the Habashman Shai has put out there that nobody is above the law. That's isn't that Esau saying, you're not above the law. Mm -hmm. Where are you gonna get that idea from? <laughs> <laughs> right so mm -hmm. we have to adhere and be what lawful like being being outside of this you're being lawless so you're being you're being like the christians are talking about the laws the laws are not been away with how so if there's no laws it means you're lawless <laughs> you know so this is this is, is put here to keep us mindful of how to move as men of the, of the lord man we're not niggas no more we're not negroes Right, we are, and we say we're the, we're the hopeful elect. And it, 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 it says, um, like, uh, you did know that one? Uh, one Come more on. verse. Go ahead, go ahead. And whether one member suffer, all the members suffer with it, or one member be honored, all the members rejoice with it. That's right. Okay, and that doesn't mean they're breaking down. You know, or you know, out of many different nations, and that's this. I'm going to quote the, the, the uh, Jamaican coat of arms: "Out of many, we're one. Out of many different nations, we're one people. And as the people of Yasha Allah, Israel, there's 12 nations within a nation, but we're one people. Um, got one. Yeah, one. Because yeah, God, you mentioned it. Uh, if you have grudges towards a brother, just you know, you, you speak, you talk to him, and, and and fix things quick. You know, don't don't let it dry because it'll, it'll build up. You know. So this is First Peter, three, and sorry, eight. It says, finally, an NLT. Finally, all of you should be at one mind, sympathize, sympathize with each other. Love each other as brothers and sisters. Be tender, heard it, and keep a humble attitude. Mm -hmm. See, you need to be humble in this truth. You can't come and puff like, you know, you know more than the brother, and, you know. You can't leave, watch the brothers like you, you're about them, right? It says, first night, don't repay evil for evil. Don't retaliate with insults when people insult you. He said, pay them back with blessings. Because like, I mentioned it, you know, just pray for spiritual, you know, blessings to that brother, you know. It says, um, that is what Yahweh has called you to do, and he will bless you for it. Okay. It says in verse 10, for the scriptures say, if you want to enjoy life and see many ha happy days, keep your tongue for speaking evil. In your lips from telling lies, mm -hmm. you know, right? And, and, and that's that's like um, say, say, you know, saying um, using diatribes, put that word up, <laughs> right? Towards the brethren, mm -hmm. you know, like of course, you know, you know, we're men, and the spirit, you know, rails up, and and it, and it really truly. Yahweh Shai is governing those spirits. I mean, whatever, whatever, however you feel, like <laughs> Yahweh Shai is governing the spirits, but 
once you realize that you know who's in control, right? Still, you know, it tells you how to deal with it because some things have to come out. And, and like I said, sometimes it doesn't come out how you want it to come out, but it, it comes out. And once you realize it's out now, it's a lot, your brother, man. You know what I mean? Like that, that yeah. I say 45 verse 7, we always bring that out. It goes across the board. Mm -hmm. I create good, I create evil, I the Lord do all do all these things. <laughs> you know? So even though the Lord is the one that's causing it to happen, realize this happened, and realize that there was something there and something was being hidden and it to be be brought forth. And then, you know, you go to brother and say, hey, you know, again, Salakia. Salakia. Like, yeah. and, and he can't say too many times. Right, mm -hmm. because it's, it's 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 a brother of Yahweh Shai, and we mm -hmm. worship Yahweh Shai. That's what we do. So what we don't like the fact that we say we worship Yahweh Shai, go kick rocks, right? Um, I'm gonna get to rock uh, four and thirty. Three down to thirty-one. Rock four and thirty. Sirach 4 and 30, yeah. Uh, Sirach 4 and 30, and it reads, Be no as a lion in thy house, nor Frank, Frankenso, what is it say? Um, friend, I think that's frantic. 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 Frantic, amen, thy servants. Mm -hmm. Let not thy hand be a straight child to to receive and shout when thou shalt repay it. That's right. So that, 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 that's two things are said there. And it's also mm -hmm. um, pertain to brethren. So don't be, you know, a bully, mm -hmm. you know, in your own house. Your own house means, you know, you, you know your nation, the body mm -hmm. that you're part of, you know, people shouldn't be afraid of you. You know, people, you know, the, the, the brothers shouldn't be like, oh, such and such, you know, I'm, I'm scared to, 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 to say this because the brother, you know, he, 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 you know, he's rough on the edges and he's, and he, 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 he's, 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 he's too rough. I can't say what I want to say. Right. And some brothers are in the truth and they might, you know, want to loan or whatever. And you get this brother alone and, you know, it treats you like a you know, like man in the world would treat you. Right. Don't want, don't want, don't want to pay, pay them back. So this is like your brother. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let see there, you know, whatever the thing that <laughs> and then soon we're going to bed. Yeah. Um yeah, so, so like you know, you say the brother, yeah, you know, them borrow some, you know, some ends. And, and say you don't have it. Let the brother know, like, listen, man, don't, don't be dodging brother and pretend like you, you, you know, you, you never had a verbal agreement, it would be such and such. And the brother mm -hmm. says, I have no problem. You know, he's more time. You know, I, I didn't really need. I didn't really need it. You know, but the day was, that, that day was that day. So yeah, but this is what happened. All right, cool, cool, cool. I, 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 I don't need it. I don't, don't, don't need it for right now. I mean, dodging the brother. You know what I mean? Pretend like, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. So don't take advantage of a brother. Is what that scripture said. Don't take advantage. Be treat the brother as how you would like to be treated. And we went through that scripture. Love that brother as thyself. So be mm -hmm. lawful to that brother. Okay? That's it in that one. Your brother mentioned Ephesians. Before we can turn on to the scripture in Ephesians, you want to bring up? Ephesians 2. Uh, verse 20. And it reads... And our, I'll read from 19. Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of Yahweh. Right. So, so you're no more niggas, man. Mm -hmm. Once you come into this truth, and you're under the banner, right, of receiving the Rakah Kadash, you got to leave that old man. Mm -hmm. All right? Because that's what we do. You know, when you see a brother, you think he has a mindset of Yahweh Hashem Yashai. That's why you know you, you 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 put your back down and say, "I'll be right back." 
see it. You know, <laughs> you know, because you know that how your mind has been changed. Each and every man, mind will be in the same way. Okay. You know, I might not see you with a girl. You know, walking somewhere and say, "Hey, brother, what's up, man?" If you want to introduce him, or or say, hey, "I'm going this way," but you know, when you walk off, he ain't pretty you. You know, <laughs> because what we have the mindset we, we, we put up the old man in the world now because he always sees so and so's girl yow. I would kill that. <laughs> yeah, and that's I'd be wicked. We would laugh because we know and that's true. wicked as all hell. Why well, I want to cover your, your your brother's nakedness? That's some pride shit, man. You're being a bag of skittles. Yep. <laughs> right. Right, go ahead. And are built up, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Yahweh so the apostles was given the doctrine. That's what we believed, and that's what we now know. Right? We searched it out because the apostles always admonished us not to be parrots and look things up. So the doctrine that we now teach, right? Once we, we, we first we believed it. And now we know it. And that should be spirit in each and every brother. Don't just say, oh, I, you know, the, the apostle, we can't save you. Let every, mm -hmm. Bible says, let every man be convinced in their own mind. Yep. So there's no scripture that says you should yes. pull him to believe. Yep. That's the scripture, man. All right. Go ahead. And they're built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Yahweh Shai and Mashiach himself being the chief cornerstone. And now we're the lively stones. Mm -hmm. And lively means quicken, means awaken to the truth, right? That's what lively means. Doesn't mean, 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 mean a person's, you know, that goes club hopping, you know? It means a person who, this for Kadash, like in church, talking about the Holy, the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. <laughs> but but in a righteous way, that, that that's some demonic shit, you know, what, you know? And Meg, you know, I was telling you and know, there's some, some some foolishness. That's not what we're talking about here. The Holy Spirit is a separate spirit that calls you to understand as a basically the opening of the mind, right? And the most high son is supping with you. He's saying the breakdown is this, and then when you get it, oh yeah, that's what that means. It's just like it's just a good feeling when the when it, it, it opens that you know that, that, that those secrets on to you. Yeah, and then your spirit that, that 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 is what it means, right? It's a good feeling, but we can it's only, it can only be enjoyed truthfully if you are a man of the Lord. If you you're lying, we know that. If you're some Edomite mind talking about your revelation, man, we know you're lying. Mm -hmm. Got the most I tell you in Psalms 148, I think it's 19 and 20. Who he deals with? But anyways, go ahead. In whom all the building fitly framed together groweth unto a holy temple in the Lord, in whom ye also are builded together for an habitation of Yahweh Bashim Shai through the Spirit. That's right. So the temple is going to this body, right? Your mind. Right? That's where the Heavenly Father wants, the Son wants to reside. Let this mind and reside in you. Right, so everything he say, what would he? How should I do? Is this something you? How should I? Because we're idolizing him. <laughs> you know, we're, we're, we're his little brother. You know, you know, you know your brother plays soccer or, or football. You know, and that older brother, and he's he's gone. You put on his jersey. Mm -hmm. right? You need to start. You want to be like him. So the scripture is actually a garment. Right? This is your should garment. We want to put it on. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, just, it's so big for us. You know, it's, it's like dragging on the floor. You're like, hey, Yahweh, don't look at Yahweh, Jah. <laughs> oh, put that, you know? Mm -hmm. So this, this is what we, we, we're, trying, we, we're trying to glorify our idol, and our idol is Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. And his idol is, is Yahweh. So in that sense, we idolize both those spirits, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Each and every day, so we talk, Yahweh, Bash, and Yahweh Shai. Not one day goes by since I've been this truth that that was named on ring in my in my mind. That's right. <laughs> Wake up. Go ahead. That's right. Nope. Such a good feeling. 
<laughs> is, that, is that in that one? Yeah, that's it on that. Fine. I forget anything? That was it only. Okay. Fine. Yep. That's you know that like, we're known for like not dragging things out. We touch a few precepts, and and it's, it's, it's our videos are made for the whole collect. So hope that they can receive it, and I hope it's somewhat edifying, right? Because the most high um, words don't go out void. So we're speaking from the scriptures, and with all truth and sincerity, man. All right. right. So I hope this was was somewhat again edifying to the body, and uh, the next time we give praise to the heavenly Father. So all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh. Double honors to my apostles, my elders of Great Mustone, who taught me the truth, and peace and blessings to your brothers, the hopeful elect, who do this work with sincerity for the four corners of the earth. For the brothers of Great Mustone, here in Toronto, Canada, saying Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat shalom.